Well, I had been with Graham Bond for a year. I'd been with uh, Georgie Fane for six months, and then I went to John Mayall. And I came to the conclusion that there was nobody to play with. I was, I was stuck. Um, nobody uh, running a singing band, a real singing band, you know, where the singer would ask me to play for them in those days because my style had become kind of set in a very busy kind of area, which was a bit sort of tricky. So I was, went on holiday with Barbara to uh, Rome, to Italy. Barbara had a cousin there. I stood on the Palatine Hill overlooking the Forum and I said to Barbara, I'm going back to England, I'm going to form a band and I'm going to call it Colosseum. There was the Colosseum laid out in front of me. I got back to the UK and I phoned uh, Dick Hextel-Smith and said, I'm going to form this mythical band of ours. Now, while we were with Graham Bond together, we had often sat in the back of vehicles travelling saying, wouldn't it be wonderful to have a band where there's no drug addicts, no crazies, no madmen? Because, you know, Graham was driving us crazy. And we, you know, we talked about this, but I rang him up and said, right, you want to form that band? And he said, yes. I said, right, we're in. And I phoned the rest of the guys who were subsequently to become members of the band. We held auditions for a guitarist because there wasn't an obvious one. The band was, w was formed and, and we did our first gig in Scarborough <laughs> where they had to winch the organ into the gig <laughs> because the only way in for the organ was halfway up the side of this building. Oh dear, please don't. <laughs> Very funny.